Hello everyone. Welcome to Aptitude Jab. This set says that there are 12 candidates who appeared for a test that had five questions. The correct answer for each question was either true or false. The candidates gave different answer sets. That is, no two candidates answered all five questions in the same manner. One mark was awarded for a right answer and zero for a wrong answer. Six of the candidates A to F got equal marks and were selected as they secured the highest marks among the 12 candidates. George, Harry and Ivan were among the rest six who failed to get selected. The table uh, below given uh, gives their responses where tree means true and f means false all right so uh, how to approach this question the first thing that we need to consider is that uh, like how many possible responses can five questions have so here you need some inform some knowledge about combinatorics as well okay so every question can have two responses true or false so two possible uh, ways of answering a question second question can have two responses okay third question have two responses and so on okay so you have a total of 32 possible combinations now see this if there are 32 combinations there are 12 candidates okay so 12 candidates is perfectly fine that uh, they can fall into so we do not need to worry that they cannot have uh, different uh, kinds of responses okay all right now let us see this uh, thing that how do we find out that what are the uh, responses now uh, i hope you know combinatorics since you are preparing for cat now if you talk about five questions right five correct responses four correct responses three correct responses two and one and zero correct response okay the ways of getting five correct responses is just one because each one is uh, attempting in a different way so there is just one way of getting five correct responses or you can say that five c zero okay that means zero incorrect or you can say five c five for five correct okay five c five for five correct answers now when you have to answer four questions correctly that is five c four which is five ways for 3, we have 5C3, which is 10 ways. For two correct responses, one could have again 10 ways. One correct response will mean 5 ways and no correct response will have 1 way. Okay, so these are the number of ways in which one could answer 5 questions correctly, 4 questions correctly, 3 questions correctly, 2, 1 or 0. Okay, now it is given that six candidates right these are six people a b c d e f they got equal marks now there are six candidates they got equal marks so they cannot get five marks they cannot get four marks either okay so what they can get is they can either get three marks or two marks okay now you must be wondering that how to pick three or two Suppose, let us assume that they got two marks. They had the highest score. They got equal marks and were, they had scored the highest. So, the remaining candidates will score less than them. Okay. Now, there are, uh, there are uh, if we consider two, then a person can get one or zero marks. Okay. Now, if you see this one, uh, see there are three candidates and five questions. Right. So, each answer is true or false. So, you know that it is not possible to have just one correct response for all of these candidates. Right. So, it will be multiple. We see that there is commonality. Right? Let us say if we say that this answer is false. Okay. Next answer is also false. Uh, then third answer, if you consider false, this person will get two marks. If you consider this answer as true, so two people will get two marks. Okay. So this means that there is not a possibility that these people can have only one marks. Okay. These remember these six people have the highest score. So this means that they cannot get two marks. These people must have got three marks. Okay. Now these people could get two marks, one mark or zero mark. That is possible among them. Now, these people have got 3 marks. So, first question is how many marks did Ben get? So, Ben got 3 marks. Now, now what we do to into this is, uh, uh, next thing that we need to check here is that how do we find the answers to these questions? Okay. So, let us do one thing that we know that they can get a maximum of 2 marks. 
So let us divide two by two, right? So let's first start with first two questions. They can have the possible answers like true, 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 false, false, true, or false, false. Okay. Now let us say the first two answers are true, true. So this person will get both of them correct. This person will get one correct, one correct. Now this person should not get any further marks. Okay. Because a person can get maximum two marks. So the answer to this question should be false. This should be true and this should be false. Now, if you see this, this person has got three marks. So, which is not possible because maximum marks are three. So, this case is not possible. Now, we will try with the next case that the first answer is true, second answer is false. True, false. So, this person will get marks for true and will not get any marks. Now, this person should not get any further marks because maximum marks are two for these among these candidates. So these three answers will be true, true and true. Now if you see this case, again this person is getting three marks, right? Uh, three true, so which is again not a possibility. So this is also not possible. Now suppose we consider that the first two answers are false and true. Okay. Now this person should not get any more marks. So this answer should be false. Uh, this answer should again be false. And this answer should be true. Okay. Uh, now does it satisfy all these conditions? First answer is true. Uh, false. Second. Sorry. This person will get one more correct. This is false true. So this person is getting this answer also correct. And he is getting three marks. So again this is also not possible. So that means the first two answers should be false. Okay, so we have eliminated three possibilities. That is the only thing that remains. So first answer is false. Second answer is false. Now we'll repeat the same thing for the next two questions also. Okay, so next two answers. Now see this, this person has got uh, the first answer as false. So next two answers cannot be true true. So let us proceed in this way that uh, the same conditions will put. Next two answers cannot be both true because if they are both true, this person would have got three marks. Next two answers cannot both be false because if they are both false, this person will get three marks. Now, either true false or false true. So let us try with true false. So if it is true, if it is false, so this person gets a mark, this person gets a mark, this person gets a mark. Okay. Now, whatever the answer of this question is, if it is false, this person will get three marks. Both of them will get three marks. If it is true, suppose this is not false, this is true. So this person will get three marks. So again, this assumption true false is not correct. The answer cannot be true false of these two questions. So these two questions will be false and true. So false means this person gets it right. True means this person gets it right. Now see the last question. Last question, fifth question, this person cannot get it right because he has already got two answers. So the answer should be true. So if we see this, this is false, this is false, this is true. So he only gets the right answer. So George scores two, Harry scores two and Ivan scores one. So how many marks did Ivan get? Ivan got one mark in the test. The correct answers to questions one and two in the order are one is false, second is also false. So the answer is false, false. The correct answers to questions four and five in the order are, so fourth is also true, fifth is also true, true, true. The correct answer to question three is the same as the correct answer to which questions. So correct answer to question three is false. It is the same answer as question one and two. Okay, so the answer is one and two. So that is the solution to the set and the answers to the questions. I hope you must have enjoyed solving this wonderful set. And please do let me know in the comments. And if you enjoyed the set, don't forget to like the video.